Hello and welcome to the Edu Leaders show on the Edu Bulletin where we bring you the latest insights and trends from the world of education. I'm Jessica and I'm excited to guide you through this episode. We have an esteemed guest joining us, Yash Mehta, founder partner at Edu Genius, shared how the 25-year-old company supports around 450 schools with smart classrooms, e-libraries, AI labs, and 3D learning solutions. Now, let's move directly into our interview. Over to you, Rumani. Let's hear what Sir had to say. So good evening ladies and gentlemen. We have with us a very special guest. He is Mr. Yash Mehta, partner at Edu Genius. Welcome to the summit sir. How is your experience being here? It's super. It's, it's a great way of networking mm-hmm. with a lot of uh, stakeholders of the school and giving us a platform to interact with most of them and understand what's happening in the market as such. So, it's been a good experience in our area. Okay sir, thank you so much. So, first of all, tell our viewers about what is Edu Genius. Um Edu Genius is a 20 five year old company mm-hmm. we are associated with about 450 schools we okay. provide various solutions in mm-hmm. schools so basically mm-hmm. like smart classrooms e library right. 3d labs 3d math and science labs mm-hmm. uh, ai innovation lab which is basically providing robotics coding ar vr 3d printing space program financial literacy and and stuff like that so we provide uh end to end solutions to schools in the classroom uh in in the schools with lab setups and everything like that okay that's great so uh when you collaborate with schools what exactly the product or services you offer and how it is you know changing the education sector uh so normally when we are collaborating with a school we provide mm-hmm. them with a whole end to end setup that right. includes we set up labs we mm-hmm. provide the whole hardware we provide right. the whole software okay uh and one of the unique things is you know mm-hmm. we as promoters are personally involved into the business so okay that helps brings about you know uh, uh what do you call we we are able to you know personally look into what's happening in schools mm-hmm. and th- those are the kind of products that we are uh, providing in schools in that case okay that's great and uh, you're functioning how many cities and what is your uh, you know future yeah. vision mission uh, we are associated i think we're there in almost every state um, mm-hmm. we have all the major cities of mm-hmm. the states we are functioning okay um and uh, our vision is that we obviously grow into more schools uh, mm-hmm. provide better products uh, right. more innovative products uh, yeah, and and get more into the ai uh, related products in that case that's what we look at okay that's me, yeah. that's great to hear sir so in last i would like to know about your experience with the you know the time to grow media summit as well as your thoughts on the edu bulletin which is Exclusive yeah. YouTube channel for yeah. educators. So I honestly like the idea. It's mm-hmm. a it's a beautiful idea. Um, mm-hmm. There's so much information all over the place. Right, right. That's there, and uh, this gives a chance to the principals to really, you know, focus on one place mm-hmm. only related to education right. per se. And I I mean, given there's so much noise all around in so many platforms, yes. at least here what is required and what is needed will be visible to the principals in that case, and uh, as well as us on the contrary because. Uh, all these updates and things like that help us create products, better products in that form. Yeah, so that's that's something that we're looking at. That's great to hear, sir, and it was wonderful talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for joining us for this enlightening discussion. We hope you found it as insightful and inspiring as we did. Save the number eight five three four eight four five six seven zero and send hi on WhatsApp for updates on the Edu Leaders Show. featuring inspiring interviews from the education sector